Hi and welcome back to my channel. I've got this uh, power amp for repair. My customer said, uh, yeah, he has a rental company and he said uh, one of the four channels is faulty. This is a really powerful amp uh, from the German uh, sales company Thoman. It's the T amp uh, and a very powerful model. I hope to find a faulty capacitor or some deficiencies in quality or something like that. This would be awesome and interesting to watch. What I don't hope to see is uh, a faulty transistor, uh, a large fire thing or something like that. So let's have a look inside. I have removed all screws so we will open it up right now. Just have a look at the mains input socket. This is a Neutrik PowerCon but look at that. Output power. Wow. This is the impressive rear side with four uh, Speakon outputs with the possibility to uh, bridge the channels with many different options for bridging and so on. Let's go! And we see nothing! Oh my goodness, wow, look at that, that's crazy, wow, unbelievable. That's crazy. <laughs> Alter, here's the power supply and we have a switch mode power supply. That's interesting. Mains, input, filtering caps and output filtering caps. These I guess are for positive and negative uh, voltage. And they are presumably in serial mode. So we have about uh, 1650 microfarads in series with uh, about 400 volts. And no resistors, no balancing resistors. So they are very confident about the voltage for the serial voltage mains input filter good one the risk with uh, two capacitors in series is that one cap could easily have more voltage than the other uh, like 300 volts and the other one 100 volts because of different uh, resistance of the cap. So usually you have balancing uh, resistors in parallel, but here we have nothing. KB is the brand you need. But I don't want to judge because it could be a very good cap. And output filtering also is KB. Here is the impressive input section.
and we can see dozens of transistors. That's amazing. As you can tell by the number of emitter resistors, we have like six or eight output resistors, uh, output transistors on every heatsink. That's not too impressive, but still awesome. Two heat sinks for every channel. This makes uh, like 16 transistors for each channel. Wow. If I would have to change transistors, how could this be done? Because you can't get in here. Well, uh, you would have to unsolder every single transistor and then you can remove the heat sink completely. And then you can unscrew uh, the transistors. And that's also how they have installed them. I haven't used this amp before at, on my own, but lots and lots of people have bought this amp series and they say it is awesome. It has <laughs> a hell lot of power and sounds great. And the quality, well, it is built down to the price, to be honest. Um, the capacitors, maybe they are great, but they don't look, uh, <laughs> they don't look like uh, ultra high quality or high quality at least. The fans are not of the highest quality. Some of the parts are not highest quality. This type of cooling is not ideal. I would love to see the fans directly on the heatsink or a better ventilation. So where is the fault? It's certainly not the power supply because three other channels are still working and they are all powered from the same power supply. I can't see any burnt parts here. They don't uh, really have lots of power here. Uh, most likely a bank of transistors is gone. So I will uh, make some measurements and I will let you know in a minute. Well, I was expecting a fault lamp, uh, a fault indicator lamp uh, to light up, but there's nothing. So I will ask the owner what happened and then I will do some measurements. I've talked with uh, the owner and he said there's probably a thermal problem. Uh, but <laughs> He has to ask uh, one of his uh, employees uh, and yeah, I will get more in information in a minute. My customer said it's a thermal problem and uh, all I can do is uh, inspect all soldering uh, connections on channel 4 because that's the channel that is working sometimes and sometimes it's working not. And I can change uh, these little capacitors here. They are from a Chinese factory. And I would not trust them too much. So that's all I can do right now. I hope you enjoyed uh, to have a look inside this very powerful amp. And see you again soon. Please support the Daily Bib and bye. This is crazy. Wow, this is so loud.
Hello, this radio was faulty and to be honest there was a lot of parts that were faulty, many resistors, capacitors, tubes, I mean this tube was faulty, this is a new one, this one is new and now it is working. Zum Sport in der zweiten Runde des österreichischen Fußballcups gibt es heute zwei Bundesliga-Duelle. Die Austria spielt gegen Sturm Graz 